Hi everybody, my name is Mallory and today I wanted to show you how to print two shipping labels on one sheet of paper using a Mac and Google Docs. You could probably do this with Microsoft Word, um, but again, this is for Macs, so I don't know how to do it on uh, a PC. And this is also not using Adobe or any other additional um, softwares that you might need. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn my camera around and show you how to do it on my computer. So as you can see, I have Poshmark open. You're gonna go ahead and go to your Google Docs and go ahead and open a new document, a blank page, and maybe label that one Poshmark Labels. From here, you're gonna go to your email inbox. You can also do this from your Poshmark um, when you, where you download a label, but I think it's easier just to, to open it from your email. And you're gonna go to the label that you want to print. So let's pick this one here. So we're gonna open it, and then we're gonna press the print button. So that's going to open it in another screen. Click cancel because we're not printing it yet. And then go ahead and zoom out twice so that you can see the whole label on your screen for the most part. And then we're going to screenshot it. So you're going to click command, shift, and four. And you'll see a little cross on your that's your mouse now, starting from one corner and dragging it to the opposite corner. As soon as you release your mouse, it will take the screenshot. So now your screenshot is on your desktop. From here, you'll go ahead and do the second one and they should both land on your desktop. Here I have two that I've already made. From here you're gonna go back to Google Docs and click insert. Insert an image. You can actually, if it, you can choose and upload it this way or with Macs, nice thing is you can drag it over and let it fall. So the whole shipping label will be on one page. So that's one label. We're gonna press enter and go to a second page. Go ahead and drag your second label over. Now, if you have, if you're just printing one label, you may want to take a screenshot of a white, uh, just plain Google document, and then you can drag that over. So the nice thing about this is after you use this label, you can uh, leave it as it is and then right click it. Let's do this one. You can right click it and click replace image. So you pretty much have your, um, it all set up for you. All you have to do is drag it over each time. So that's our, our white image for if we're just printing one. I'm gonna replace it again and put that other label over there. Now this does get a little tricky because I don't write on the back of my shipping labels. I have to keep a list makes me a little nervous. From here you're going to click file and print. Under your print settings you're going to go to print using system dialog. You always have to remember to do this. Sometimes I forget which is a pain. And then when it says pages per sheet you're just going to click two pages per sheet and it should line up and it's gonna print page one and page two on the exact same label. And then from here, click print. Make sure your printer is plugged up. And voila. So I typically use a um, sticky adhesive paper that is split straight down the middle. Didn't wanna waste one of those for this project. Um, but you can find those on Amazon. Um, check the reviews, because I noticed that some of them are not as sticky as others. And yeah, I hope you found this helpful. I'm so glad that I found this way. And happy bashing!